Okay, trying this again because stuff was going wrong in my last video. Hi, I'm Alina, um, and I wanted to just kind of real quickly see if I can get through all of the books that I want to read in November. This mainly can this um, TBR mainly consists of books that I'm still in the middle of and I need to finish this month, um, and books because um, this month is. NaNoWriMo. For those of you who don't know, that's National Novel Writing Month, which is basically throughout the month of November, a bunch of people who want to write books come together and try to write the first draft of their novel. Um, I'm participating again. I participated like two years ago and then the laptop that I was using crashed and I just couldn't keep going. But I'm participating again, so there's writing, like books on writing, books um, to that are going to kind of influence and kind of inspire and are for research for what I'm going to be writing and stuff. So mainly my TBR is influenced through that and stuff I need to finish. So let's get started. Um, the first one, the copy that I'm holding here is going to be a little preview into my October book haul. But here I have um, Stephen King's It and I am this far. I'm still reading It. Um, and I'm more than halfway through. I am on page 837, so I have, like, over 300 pages left, about, like, 350, 330. Um, and I recently was watching, um, Zoe from Read by Zoe, uh, do the 24-hour readathon and read this entire book in 25 hours, and it was ridiculous. And obviously I'm not going to attempt to do that, because that would, like, kill me, <laughs> um, even being this far, but... Like, if she can do the entire book in a day, I can finish this at least within the first week of November, just picking it up, like, amongst doing college and doing nano. Um, because I am loving it. Um, in December, the new, this version, like, the 2017 movie version of it is coming into the cheaper theaters, which is where I watch my movies if I want to watch them in theaters. And I need to see that, so I'm going to read this, um, watch the original Tim Curry version again, and then watch the remake and just be immersed in the Pennywise feels. So I need to finish that. Okay, next, another one, the only other one that I'm in the middle of currently that I need to finish is Stone Mattress by Margaret Atwood. Uh, you might have seen this in other videos of mine, if you've seen other videos of mine. This is nine short stories of Margaret Atwood's. Um, they're all, like, random, except the first three are connected. Um, and I am about what, like, 80, 128 pages in, um, so I'm about one-third or almost halfway through, and, uh, yeah, this one's pretty short, it's short stories, even if I pick up, like, one story a day, I'm done with, like, the first four or so, so I can finish this in about a week less. So, those two are the ones I'm in the middle of that I need to finish. Now, the writing books. The ones that are specifically about writing will start with Stephen King's On Writing. I have always wanted to read this. I've owned this for a few years now, and this is the prime time for me to read it. I, there is no excuse for why I still haven't read this, and um, I need all of the help I can get, so why not help from the best? Um, and yes, I have that. Okay, then another one here that I recently found in storage and I had forgotten I owned is called WOW, or Writers on Writing, and it's basically famous writers talking about writing, writing tips, writing quotes, um, there's even illustrations in here, and yes, it's a little bit chunky, but it's small, and um, again, I need assistance, inspiration, and uh, I feel like that'll help motivate me. Um, then here is one of the few that has nothing to do with I'm in the middle of it or it has something to do with my writing. This is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. I need to read this because it's the movie adaptation is coming into the cheaper theaters that I told you I go to soon and I would like to read the book first. So I need to finally get to this sometime soon. Maybe I can audiobook it. Who knows? There's that one. Then this one. The Silver Eyes by Scott Cawthorn and Kira Breed 
Firesley. Um, this is the first book in a Five Nights at Freddy's book series that's coming out. Um, the second one just came out and I really need to get on this one. I got it for Christmas last year and Christmas is approaching again this year. I have been wanting to read this really badly. Was gonna read this last month in October for like spooky month. Didn't get around to it. And since the book that I'm going to be writing is like a horror novel-ish Esque, I feel like this can still apply and can still be considered a research book, so I'm definitely going to attempt to pick this up in November. Um, this one is another research book, uh, Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This might seem strange, but it's a... I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want it to be like, you know, you get really paranoid over your ideas and you don't want anyone to take them, but there's also going to be elements that I think this will help me get inspiration from. And I'm excited to get to it. It's gorgeous. Everyone has loved it. I haven't heard, like, one negative thing about it. So, yes. Um, then here. This, again, has the an element that is going to help for inspiration. This is another research book. They're all research books besides, like, the three that I said weren't. <laughs> um, this is um, the first trade for the Guild... Um, comics by Felicia Day and Jim Rugg. This is from Dark Horse Comics, and I love the Guild TV show. I watched all the seasons, and so also this is going to help me because I'll definitely be able to get to this, if nothing else. So, um, and then the last physical book that I have to talk about before I move on to ebooks is another preview into my October book haul. This is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I don't really know much about what this is about, except that it has a mystery element and that the lead, like, main character girl has OCD and thought spirals, which is own voices because John Green himself suffers from OCD and having those kinds of, of thought spirals and stuff specifically. I watched the video where he that he does on his, like, Vlog Brothers channel where he reads the first chapter of whatever book is about to come out of his, and I was in love with it, so I really want to get to this as soon as possible, but since this has nothing to do with, like, it's not an adaptation that's coming into theater soon, it's not something I'm in the middle of, it's not anything to do with what I'm writing so that it could help me out, I might get to this in December, it's just I want to get to it so soon. Um, but I have things that are more pressing matters. I don't know. But if I don't get to this this month, I am definitely, this is like the first thing I'm going to pick up in December because I need to read that this this year. Um, okay. Those are it for the physical books. And then real quick, I am going to try to get to the ebooks. Okay. So the first one I have here is called Burn the Dead. Um, book one in the zombie saga is a uh, book... Burn the Dead Quarantine by Stephen Jenkins. It looks like this. It's an ebook. Um, and yeah, I just know it's about zombies. And the most specificness I'm going to go into is that the book that I'm going to be working on is about zombies. So I s hunted through all of the zombie books that I had on my Kindle that I hadn't read yet. And I put them like at the top, like in the recent ones, so I can just access them easily. And these are a few that I may or may not get to. I'm at least going to get to one, but this one is also really short. It is called Zombies vs. the Living Dead Surviving the Evacuation by Frank Tail. This is a zombie book novella. Um, and the only thing I know about this one is that it's about a zombie outbreak in like an elderly home, which is cool. And I need to need to get into the, the zombie mode right now. Um, and then here I have Seasick by Ian Rob Wright. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name. But this is another, another zombie book about a uh, zombie apocalypse breaking out on a cruise ship. So, I need to get to some zombie books. Um, and if people are watching and they want to give me any recommendations of zombie books, uh, I might not get to the book recommendations because I have no money and I need to be able to get stuff that I would have access to right here, so I might get to the ones that I actually own, but 
if you know any zombie movies that are on Netflix or Hulu or something like that where I don't have to pay because I'm already paying for those things, um, or TV shows other than obviously The Walking Dead because I watched that and um, Z Nation because I've seen some of that as well, I need to just get into zombie shit, you know? So, uh, if you have any good zombie recommendations, send them my way. And, or things that have to do with fandom. Because I'm in a mood for that. Um, so that's everything that I'm hoping to get to in November. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my face and my books. Bye!